that moment when you've just finished making your bed and you're still lazing around good morning everybody it is uh sunday i'm getting ready or rather i need to start getting ready to go to church i'm so excited for actually today's sermon because last week's was so good so my friend is doing a series um of actually preaching at church and his sermons have been about work and they've just been like phenomenal they're actually on youtube as well i'm just gonna jump into the shower real quick and as i'm getting ready i'm gonna catch up with it before i take you guys with me to church showered eyebrows are on i usually don't wear foundation when um, i'm going to church just keep the skin hella moisturized breakfast looks absolutely amazing <laughs> and i didn't have to break a finger actually that's my breakfast. I'm just going to be having potatoes, eggs, and bacon. And while I do that, I'm just catching up on last week's sermon again to remember some key pointers. Yeah. Shopping, eh? You know, yesterday a friend of mine was telling me how um, about this ring of pickpockets who are very well trained. He told me that they report to work every day and they train all day to learn how to steal. My friends, this is not work. That is not work. Work is the process of making things fruitful. And if you're not making things fruitful, then you're not working. Let me say it differently. If you're not making things better, you're not working. About his whole sermon um, last week, he kept talking about, um, you know, work you know and how to make things fruitful i really really enjoyed like really enjoyed um how kept he kept pushing that and i'm looking forward to today's sermon and wonder how he's going to continue this series in the meantime i just want to let you guys know that um this video is of course sponsored by huawei and i'm catching up on the sermon on the huawei y9 i mean guys i've been putting you onto this phone while i was in bangkok and today um as the video suggests i'm going to be showing you guys an easy lazy meal to cook on a sunday when you don't feel like really cooking but you want to eat something delicious but in the meantime let me body my breakfast and we can go to church house hey that's what's up yes what we're going to do is that we're going to read from genesis you know the last two sundays we did genesis 1 and 2 today we're going to do genesis 3 from verse 17 to 24. just got out of the service that was such a great service and i think to be very honest with you i truly believe it's Thimba's calling to like preach every november he should do it like it's such a great gift to himself anyway service done um i'm definitely gonna link his first service or his rather first two services that he's done because they usually put them up on youtube on the in the description below so you guys can be able to like catch up on it and see how good it is in the meantime i have decided this afternoon is not for me to spend hours cooking so let's go find somewhere to buy chips me too So my prep is all done. I have onions, I have um, cilantro, dania. These are the leaves, these are the stems that I've chopped up. I have a lemon here, I have some garlic, fresh garlic of course, and I have some thyme. This was the only other herb that I had in the fridge, which I'm about to make magic with. And I have to say something. Another thing that I might say that I'm really loving about the Huawei Y9 is the fact that um, I don't have to download a lot of apps or rather I did not need to download a lot of apps I mean a lot of phones come with like preloaded apps others you have to download this one has like a lot of apps that are already on here YouTube was already preloaded on here so far I've only had to download Instagram Bible Twitter but it's not eating up on my space because I still have 64 GB of space, which is such a great steal if you really think about it. Most of us suffer from like having little to no space, especially when you have um, 
a phone. You know, you always want, need to buy space. Anyway, so that's like a plus that's on the phone. I want to keep playing my playlist as I throw down these chips masala. Let me show you what I'm about to do to the chips before I add them into the sauce or start making the sauce actually. I'm going to salt these fries and add some garlic powder onto them before I create more magic. I'm just going to take some salt, like a pinch of salt, add it onto here. Don't go too crazy because of course you're going to season your um, sauce. You're going to add in just a hint of black pepper. And then you're going to add in your garlic powder, which of course, put in as much as you would like. And then we're just going to mix all this together. As this sits with the salt, pepper and garlic, we're going to proceed to start making our sauce. We'll be using coconut oil. I'm using about um, a tablespoon. It has some really good fats, and if you don't have coconut oil, it's perfectly fine. So we're just gonna let the coconut oil melt. I already tell some of the onions are starting to brown, like the, of course, the really smaller ones. Now we're gonna add in our chopped stems of the cilantro vinia. Stir this around. We're gonna use like a huge tablespoon of tomato paste. And then we're gonna use about half a cup of water to dilute our tomato paste down. Now it's at this point that you wanna add in your spices because this is where most of the flavor will get together and get to marry. So just stir it around. We're gonna turn up the heat now to medium high. We're gonna be adding in garlic. You guys know we don't measure garlic. And we're gonna be adding in cumin half a teaspoon as well, or three quarter of a teaspoon. Start in your spices. And since you want to have this cook flavorfully, you're gonna add in some salt as well. We're gonna throw in about two sprigs of thyme in there. Just let everything cook slowly. And then taste to see what we're adjusting. Oh my God, it tastes so good. I'm gonna just add in just a little bit of lemon in here. Sure to take out the seeds so that no seeds enter the sauce. Just gonna place that down there. We're gonna turn down the heat to now low. Turn this around, and then I'm gonna take out the lemon. So the lemon didn't sit in here for like five minutes. It was just like two to three minutes for flavor. I'm gonna stir this around. One thing I'm about to do is, of course, make people on Instagram feel like, what you doing with your life? <laughs> For um, normal camera to shoot, it picks up on color really, really, really well. Add in our fries, chips we took into here. And then we're just gonna coat everything with the sauce. Throw in a handful of dania into here. Toss this around. Take out this sprig of thyme. And I'm gonna serve this in bowls so it can just feel like comfort food. It's time for my favorite part. Now, I've been playing around with either night or even aperture to see what works, but night usually works better sometimes because you can play with the ISO and you can make it to the, you know, what you prefer. So we're gonna take that picture. And look at that detail. So that's about it. Like when it comes to shooting food, you just need like a good background. You need to make sure that your colors all go really well. So like the green with the reds, and the gold color as well, and the brown. And you can take your picture. So 
that's about it. I have my fork ready. It's time for me to dig in. Shot. I bodied, I conquered. <laughs> I need to just wrap up this video by saying a couple of things to you guys. Now, this morning when I woke up, my phone was on 100%, fully charged, went with it to charge. Of course, used the Bible app on while I was in church and took some pictures with it, took some video with it, and so far, it's still at 86%. Yeah, 86%. So, if there's one thing that this Huawei is really good at, it's definitely battery life. And another thing I've mentioned in my previous video before, well, rather the first one, at how good it is, um, how good it is cost-wise, because a lot of people are always trying to get a phone that integrates into their lifestyle because, hey, if it didn't land on Instagram, it's not real. If you want to know much more details or more spec details about this um, phone, including the storage and everything like that i'm going to place a link for you guys below to check it out but in the meantime i want to say this thank you so much for your constant support it really means the world to me i love you guys so much catch you guys on the next video